Pakistan from Gujarwala. It's going to be Atif Bhatt. Here we go. And his and opponent, John D. Your grand finals for the TWT. This is going to be amazing. What an entrance. What an entrance. Woo. Okay. It comes down to Pakistan versus Korea in the end, and I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been a bit of a talking point, you know, um, in the past in the past year, you know, like over the pandemic, which scene really did become the best in the end, uh, and it's been a very back and forth thing, right? So it's it's kind of cool that we have this regional rivalry happening here in the grand finals. No, I think it's really cool. This also goes back to having that representation, right? I love that you say who became the stronger, but I love the story of how strong Pakistan is. I love about, and I told Arslan this, I was like, you changed the Tekken game. Specifically, I was like, bro, you don't know what you did because Arslan was like, you, you gotta step your game up this high. And the world has answered. The world has answered, and that's why we have the TWT Finals that we see before you. You still have that representation that Arslan Ash has put there, but you also have a player who has worked year in and year out to be up on the stage to try to claim that championship. So please understand how important this is to both of these players. I can see it in my man's eyes right here. I can see it. I'm telling you right now. And if you enjoy competitive Tekken, this is where you want to be. These are the games that you want to see. These are the players that you want to watch. Absolutely, absolutely, man. But this is going to be a run back, by the way. This match happened at Rev Major. The tournament that John Ding won, it literally went down to the final pixel and John Ding was able to win with the Rage Art. It was one of the most it's one of the best sets that we've had all year and they get to run it back here on the biggest of stages on the Tekken World Tour Finals Grand Finals. Yeah, man, I'm telling y'all right now, I watch a lot of Tekken and it's really cool to see these separate paths come to cross here. You get to see all the separate events, all the events in their region, as well as all these other tournaments. It is amazing. As someone who follows this as a profession and a hobby and a passion, I'm telling you right now, it's one of the coolest things ever. Yes, absolutely, man. But here it is, always hovering over the layer right now is Noki Lakhdi the Akuma. John Ding hovering the Julia. Are we going to get a blind pick? Ladies and lads, I think we're getting a blind pick here. They were playing around in the character select screen. Neither wants to make the first choice. I love Big that. mind games. That's how you know they're serious. When they get to the blind picks, like, bro, I don't even want him to know who I'm thinking about picking. Yo, Steve, can you explain this quickly? What, it, what is a blind pick? So what happens is you can see where your character, your opponent is hovering on the character select screen. To mitigate that in a tournament setting, what you do is you ask for a blind pick. That way, they have to commit to that character that they're going to pick. So your initial guess might be important or it can actually bother you in the end because if you guess wrong and you try to counter pick, that's a game you instantly lose, you know, playbook wise. So that blind pick kind of protects your first guess. If you think they're going to pick a counter pick for your character, you can kind of counter pick it by not letting them know what character you have with a blind pick. And I think, I think that John Day might have got the counter because it's going to be the Eddie versus the Akuma. Here we go. It's grand finals time, ladies and lads. Tekken World Tour finals. Let me hear you, ladies and lads. Let's go! It all comes down to this, Artif versus John Ding. You want to ask him or you want me to ask him? Guys, if you would like John Ding to take it, make some noise! And if you want Artif but to take this and become the champion, let me hear you! Oh, you got Woo. it kind of split. I love it. Very split. Grand Finals, let's go! Okay, Artif but with an early combo here, take it to what I remember. Artif is in the winner side as well, so he has to, he has that extra cushion, right? John Ding will need to win two first to threes in order to become champion. Yeah, that's the problem with coming from that loser side. You do have to win two sets if you actually want to be a champion. Yeah. Ooh -hoo. He got the down three on clean hit, but went for the red viable. Oh. Now, Eddie could do decently in this matchup because of the backdash, right? Mm. And get out of that clean hit range very, very easily, as you see there. And the counter hit. John Ding gonna take the first round. Ooh, that back 3-3. Three, three. That back 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> He's gonna need quite a few more of those rounds, but every journey starts with a single step. Ooh. Rodeo! No break on the 1 plus 2, down 4-1-1 one, one to answer back. Yep. 
down four. We've seen quite a few times John Ding using the Eddie versus the Akuma in multiple tournaments versus multiple Akumas. He has a lot of experience. Yep, there. yep that's definitely true. And that's why I said that if you play Tekken 7 at a high level, there's no way you don't have some options against Akuma. Yeah. Real quick with the down 4 1 and the Tatsu didn't work out, but you can see he's ready. Yeah, absolutely. Rage available. Oh, Wasan in two. Nice! And that's going to be potentially going to the wall into the Rage Art. 100% for all. Oh, hang on a minute. He dropped it. I think he miscalculated. Oh, oh that's going to hit that down four. Oh! Eddie's Rage Art actually goes over low. He's on him. Bono Swap. Yes, John Ding, two rounds. Big drop from Arthur Bot to not get the wall splat and the combo. Yeah, I think he just misjudged where that wall was. Because I'm telling you right now, on this stage, it's really easy to lose where the breakable wall is, where the wall is not going to break is. 100%. They're trying to play that keep out game now, Atif. Quite happy to just sit back and throw out the fireballs. Slowly build that map, build up that meter. I like that pressure right there. Down 4-1-1. One, one. Fishing for something big. Red fireball on the defense. Mm-hmm. John Dane trying to get away from the wall. 4-4-2-1 four, four, gets the bounce. But not the re wall but unfortunately. But the down three forced to use the meter in order to close that one okay. out. So Atif okay. finally gets on the board. Oh, no parry, okay. Artif. Can he take this to the wall, though? Dangerous position. You do not want to have your back to the wall when you're playing against an Akuma player. You definitely do not. And the closer they get to that meter, the closer it is to the end of the round. <laughs> there we go. Down three taps to get the walls back. No reports back again. Oh, wait a minute. Nice life lead here for Artif. I was going to say, I love the range at which he's playing against this Eddie right now. Back two, three, back two, three. If he's threatening that down two as well. Both guys being very patient, looking for an opening. Ooh! Down four. Goes for the running three. Down three confirmed Ooh. with the meter. Two rounds apiece. Yeah, I think Artif is going to be uh, thinking about that rage up potential from John Ding. He's lost quite a few times that way now to Roman, but low, nice low parry once again. Okay. Oh, and the extension on the combo with the Tatsu as well. A pixel away from the meter. There it is. And this is not where you want to be, Steve. We talked about what that wall means. Wow, nice confirm there, not spinning the meter. Yeah. Out of out of clean hit range. Artif with the life and positioning. Good punish. I love that he's not using his meter. He's literally waiting to get the hit. He realized that he wasn't in range. John can definitely take this. If he gets one launch, one counter hit, what are we gonna get here? He uses the meter. Whoa, here we go! And wall launch on the hurricane punish. Hold up. Oh, oh, oh my no. Oh, is that gonna hit? He's doing a move armor. So Goku sucks. Is this gonna be dead? I don't Don't think so. One oh, pixel. A pixel. Oh! Rage drive available! The jump in five! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Atif jumps out of his chair! Crazy, crazy scenes here in Amsterdam! Bro! The what? trade! Bro! What? The trade! Bro, what? Bro, what? Oh boy! Really good read there from Artif to understand that the rage drive was coming. Jumps back into the jumping back fireball. Insane. The thing about Akuma is that he does have options to deal with that up close pressure, especially for round ending ones. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to jump back air fireball. Get clipped by the fireball, close out the round. Artif butt, holding it down. You know, Artif, man, such a humble guy from Gujarawala. You know, he, he put his life and his, his blood, sweat and tears into this game. You know, it's not been easy for these Pakistanis to travel around it's and show what they're made been. of, it but really he's here been. on this big stage. He is two matches away from becoming the champion, Steve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John yeah. Ding looking for a reset, hoping for a reset, playing for a reset. The infinite stage, though, the infinite stage. This is where Eddie wants to be to utilize the movement, get out of that clean hit range that Akuma possesses. Demon flip three right there. I like the switch up. Mm. Knows that John Ding is a little accustomed to dealing with this regular demon flip pressure. So now he's trying to switch it up a little bit. Big combo. Yeah, big combo with the FF4. Down 2 3. Into the relaxer. Guaranteed big damage. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Oh, should be done. This should be it, yeah. yeah. Guaranteed. Mm. Hold that. In that situation, it's always worth just trying to go for the spring kick if the relaxed 3 is going to hit. Sometimes at some ranges, it actually rips. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. There we go. Standing 2. I like the jabs. Fireball to build the distance. Run in to get the tackle. Mm. What a oh dog! Oh my gosh, it was so fast! 
Yeah, against Eddie, you don't want to go for the mid extension for the, of that downfall run because it is launch punishable, minus 13. Wow, knocks him out of the rage drive. The interruption is so tense right now. Goes for the low, rage available. Hang on a second. Oh, the FF4. Another good tool of keeping people at bay. Fight. But this time, forces his way into that clean hit, that close range, and gets the down three. Bro, the side step to realign, okay. Gotta hold that. Okay. Oh, they're trying to open up John Dean right now. John Dean blocking a lot, but the downfall comes in the sweep. Oh my god. Oh wow. Puts him out of the air, gonna get the combo conversion. Mm -hmm. Tatsu this time. Yeah, just sitting outside of rage as well. That's not good. John Ding, there it is. Gets the pixel that he needed. Oh, was that counter hit? Three, that was that was dangerous. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, beautiful oh reaction! Let's get the full counter hit though. Red fireball for the chip damage. Oh my gosh. No. 4 3. Power crush! 4 3 into power crush. The classic. Arthur Pot is one round away from going up 2 0. Oh, counter hit this time on the back 3 3. Frame trap. Poor Arthur pressing oh buttons. Oh my gosh, the damage. Mm, within 10 seconds, already 60% gone. Gets the down four. There's that Eddie Gordo spring up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Delay hopping, okay. Didn't even know Eddie could do that. All right. <laughs> Not good. Close enough. That was a punish. Nice. Are we going to see the mid now? I'll get the down two. Be careful. Nice. All right. Another final round. Okay. Okay. No punish. But it's okay. The down three always there. Got the meter though, so that's what you want. That's how you punish it. If you got meter, you make it count. Oh, wow, the power crush. Mm -hmm. Messes up the forward, 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 though. Big miss input there from John Ding. The meter is available now for Artif. Down three, and that is going to be the match. 2 0 for Artif. Can't believe this. Artif is one match away from becoming your Tekken World Tour 2022 champion and bringing the trophy home to Pakistan. Oh my gosh. The John Dean chance return. Back to the character select screen. Started from all the way in the back and just moved its way up to the front. I like it. Steve, we have seen John Dean come back from places like this. We have seen it many, many times. He's got in and locked in with the Julia. Here we go. Look, just the same as a tip, right? Just the same, John Dean definitely wants to get this victory under his belt. I remember there was two years there where John Dean couldn't clinch that big victory, right? Before we saw the CEO run, we've seen John Dean go through the fences, through everything that's needed to be done. Get the W's, beat the best to try to get here. This is his chance right now, but he cannot lose another game. No, that's it. It has to be a reverse sweep from here right now. We're going to the Devil's Pits. Here we go. Damn, my man Akuma got home field advantage. Guys, make some noise if you want John Ding to run this back right now. It's getting close. It's getting dangerous. Let's get back into it. Now the Julia worked out for John Ding in the last set against Chikorin. It allowed him to make the comeback to get to this grand finals. Can he do it again? Put a down three red fireball this time. Woo! He's punished while rising one. Yep, it's gonna go to the wall. Oh, we're all down four. Good pulls, running one, get the pull out the wall, not gonna kill. Nice! John D! With the round on the board here, the Julia looking very good. Oh, was, was the Eddie just data? Maybe, hey, you never know. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, yeah. three got the meter this time, the wall's right there. Yeah, dashing forward in, in order to make that clean hit and get the full combo. That's huge damage and a very bad position wall-wise. Punish, no, no punish! Oh, big launcher here from John Dean. The wall, oh, the blue stuff, re-wall split. Realign, probably should get a caddy corner combo right now. He's getting a lot of opportunities here, John Ding, but is it enough? Is it enough? The shotgun spin, hang on a second, a down jab! Arthur puts an end to that offense and gets on the board. Fight. Oh, down three. You see that bar, primed and ready, and you know he's gonna spend it. 
Absolutely, man. And there he does. Down three once again, attacking the legs. And the wall carry is going to be insane. Easy wall splat, big damage. Jeez, goes for the mix right after it. Nice block by John Dane. Oh my god, it's the flippy copies again. He's jumping all over the gap. Here we go, down four, and again. And again! Oh, I bet you won't do it again. Down three. Tekken World Tour Finals point this head point. This is the point right here. If a Tiff Butt wins this, he is the Tekken World Tour 2022 champion. Okay, no duck. Didn't commit to the meter to get the full combo there on the down jabs. Last chance here for John Ding. No combo, Steve. Didn't get the clean hit. Drop the combo to focus right there in the middle. These are not easy Akuma combos, by the way. I hate to have to keep telling people this. Goes for the mid extension. Oh, man. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel, I'm sure. John Ding, he's on the back foot right now. Atif Bhatt looking to get this championship for Pakistan. Here we go. The was and two beautiful sides get for no punish. Oh! No meter. John Ding in trouble. The down threes are almost there. Atif Bhatt gets to confirm and that's going to be... And Atif Bhatt is your Tekken World Tour Finals Champion! And that will be that. We've crowned a new champion. A dip foot will be him, will be it. The trophy goes to Pakistan, John Day.